actor, Ramon Navarro, who plays um, Ben-Hur, was brought in halfway through. They threw out somebody else and brought him in halfway through. He's very uh, cheerful and uh, unlike Charlton Heston, who was kind of dour. This Ben-Hur is positive. You know, he's, he's, a, he's a mighty man, but he's positive. And uh, he's consumed with anger, but he has a bounce to him. Um, and he, it's interesting that he's, you know, you see these men in the buff, and they're not that buff. You know, he strips down, there he is, you know, and all the women, I guess, of the period were going hog wild, but actors these days, you know, it, he's got kind of a pot belly. He's got no six pack at all. I mean, we're used to seeing male buff, you know, polished masculinity in a way that didn't exist back then. So the studlies of the time were not by our modern standards that studly, but he has a kind of a twinkle to him. And there's a lot of conversation about the fact that he was gay. The actor came to a very sad end, uh, murdered by, I believe, a couple of male prostitutes. And um, as a result of the loss of his life, he's become kind of a martyr, if you like. You don't see any of that in the film. You know, I've had pe gay, you know, gay friends saying, oh, that scene where him and Massad's obviously homoerotic. My gaydar must be broken or something like that. It's just two people playing the scene very intensely. They have a relationship since childhood. I guess in their day they were both buff in their own way. I don't know. But in fact, Ramon Navarro does have kind of a place in gay culture as a martyr. Yeah.